This is Flappy Dragon, which is honestly speaking, it's a lower grade version of Flappy Birds. If you don't have Flappy Birds anymore, you might want to play this. Did I unlock something? I might have. Who cares? A rare egg. Wow, I care so much. The reason why I don't like this one is that Flappy Birds was very difficult. And this is difficult, don't get me wrong. But it's nowhere near a Flappy Birds. Like, Flappy Birds was just like insanely difficult. And I don't even know what am I doing. Oh, right, I'm supposed to collect treasure or whatever. It does not even have like a pillar up top, it just like has a pillar on the bottom. As it gets more difficult, it definitely starts showing up. As you can see, it's showing up on the top and showing up on the bottom. But regardless of that, this is just like weird. Yeah, it's not very difficult. Like, Flappy Bird was so, like, pixel perfect. And it fell so fast. Like, I let go. It does not fall that fast. Flappy Bird basically fell down to the ground if you did not, like, hit it proper. Oh, yeah, this thing you can destroy the surrounding area for some reason. I don't know what that is going to achieve, but you can do that. Just basically stupid shit. It's stupid shit, honestly. Um, and oh no, I'm dead. Regardless, th that's basically the game. So basically, if you cannot find Flappy Bird anywhere, you, you might want to play this. But I would 100% recommend that if you cannot find Flappy Bird, then just don't play this. This is just horrible. This is like a, such a mockery of the Flappy Bird genre, honestly. This is Automatoys. Um, how should I even start this? Let's restart this. Just let's restart this. So and now, meanwhile, it's already BC, two, uh, two and a half million BC. Time does not stand still. I will write the most interesting events in history. So basically, uh, you get points. As you can see, I've got two surplus product, and then you can move forward. I'm generating zero, so it's no point in moving forward. As uh, you collect stuff, as you uh, pick up a stick. So I got a man with a stick, so I will achieve uh, things and then I produce things using this. So if I uh, press upgrade on gathering, as you can see I'm getting more C's now. I should not have restarted this because I already played it a bit, so I probably should have shown you that. Because I already did this and these things will unlock when I get to 10 points or whatever. Let's hyper speed this up. Bloods. The whole world went underwater. No one escaped. How quickly history is overrun by legend. Just a water spill. Some resources sailed away. Okay. And I'm just waiting for 10 points so that I can use this. And you can unlock story. I already did a bunch of shit. I don't know why I decided to restart like a fucking dumbass. Uh, Alright. Now we're gonna take shit from the predators. Um, lightning struck a tree and killed the animal under it. The tree caught fire and we were afraid to approach it until the flame subsided. Baked meat turned out to be delicious and easily digested quickly. This gave birth to a new idea in people's minds. And now we can get fire eventually. If we can get more production which you will get from this. I had it unlocked so much. You can also get like these tribesmen. Um, you press cooperate and this increases I don't know how exactly the whole world world works and you get a bunch of history as you move along I had like a list like if I scroll down there would be a whole list uh, to how much shit I had unlocked but now I'm sitting here like a dumbass with nothing unlocked anyway uh, so basically this is the game you go through time and you unlock various shit I'm gonna unlock the tribesman perk now as you can see I get more C's from it and you will get a bunch of other C's down here as well as you move along. You definitely want to upgrade shit as you move along. And basically you pretty much stay in these two tabs. You just upgrade this to get more C's, uh, products, and then use the C's to unlock various historical events. And they get like chronicles added to you as you can see. Australopithecus, whatever, extinct. It's sad because they were our relatives. Okay, so that sort of stuff. So you can just basically unlock story like that. It's not a particularly fun game. It's a very weird game. Yeah. I forgot that this game had like voice in this. Um, I kind of had it turned off. So I was wondering where the voice is. But whatever. When you press this it just goes yeah. Which is interesting. Um, so basically that's the game. You just pick around pick pick up stuff unlock more shit and unlocks more shit in one more as I, as you saw i picked up a stone and i got stonework probably eventually homo erectus has left the africa and mighty populating eurasia 
and and is mightily what is mighty populating Eurasia? Shouldn't it be mightily populating Eurasia? I mean, whatever you do, you so yeah, check it out for yourself. This is Infinity Clan, and I played it a little bit. If you can tell, it's a really Mm, I mean, if you can, again, it's one of those games where you get into it, so maybe it might be fun for you. But on the surface, it was, I mean, the ads were very cool, but in itself, it just doesn't seem like that fun of a game. I mean, it's, it maybe gets fun when you get into it, like, too, too much, or maybe you've done a bunch of shit in this, uh, you know, game world. But basically, what you do is you have these tents, right? And they make, uh people as you click on these and I think they take gold or something and they give you XP as well and if you zoom out and you also have these like gold making things I can't t clack tap on it for some reason what the hell is that uh, and here's my treasury and I get money from it and as you can see it's filling up again and I get research yeah whatever I don't care so you can click on stuff and get research stuff and level up quote unquote and get out i don't think i'm even out of the tutorial because like after playing through this i was like eh, i don't know and obviously you can get into like bunch of research stuff i'm guessing that ask help is to get help from your uh, clan because uh, these games usually have like a clan help mechanic though usually it doesn't help too much but once you upgrade it it does help i remember clash of kings uh, that was a very important mechanic and you could get some very like, decent shit out of it. So basically I've upgraded these and because of these as you can see they're level 6. This is the highest level troop I can make. And uh, basically if, if I upgrade I will be able to get access to the next level of troop and what not. So basically these are all the things you have to do. And when you click on these they basically make one of these as you can see it popped up right there. And what you have to do is basically grab one of these and like drag it onto this. Combines with that, drag it onto this, combines with that, drag it onto this, combines with that. And let's see if we have any more. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Combine with that, we get level 6. And then we have to combine few more to get level 7. Let me do that just now. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is level 6. I don't think I have access to level 7. Yeah, I don't have access to level 10. So basically you get these and as you go through the tutorial, you basically unlock new pieces of land. Uh, if I go towards this piece of land, I don't remember how do you move. I think you move this way. No, not this way, this way. And I will have to end up in a combat situation with them. And we'll just uh, select like three of these and just go. Go, maybe? How do I begin? Oh, I just, just fire on some. They're basically extremely low level people they will get destroyed immediately that's a, like a special bonus attack but I don't really need to use that considering I'm just way too strong let me just add to my like island and basically if you play along with this you will get access to a bunch of other islands and you will increase in strength and eventually you will also be fighting um, other players as well I'm amazed that these guys don't die in like one attack who's doing the sneak attack oh I'm doing the sneak attack oh, wow it managed to dodge that that is insane, but it doesn't really matter, it will die regardless. And that's just a bot. So you, you basically increase the size of your island, eventually you will be fighting other people and stuff like that. Um, I don't know when, but eventually you unlock. That's pretty much the game, and I'm sure if you, it will be enjoyable if you have like a gigantic island. With, I, I know people play, what is that game, uh, Clash of Clans? And I'm sure someone like that would enjoy it. I have never been the Clash of Clans type of guy, so this is not for me. Uh, but yeah, link in the description. This is ISEPS. It's a weird game and it says that my um, phone cannot run it properly. Supposed to you require like a heavy GPU or whatever if to simulate particle effects or something. Um, you get a bunch of particles and you sell the energy to upgrade or something like that. I don't know what level 1 and 2 are. Particle menu. Um, select particle, what that achieve? So let me see if something happens once I go to like level 1. Uh, 5 more maybe? 1 more maybe? Come on, give me a little bit more. There we go. Open automation menu. Uh, welcome to the automation hub. You can spell an LP to automate parts of the game. Less tapping when LP when you level up. Okay. Uh, enable all basic automations this one oh it's auto sell that's okay so it will auto sell within every 10 minutes 
So we can buy and sell energy here where there is. Uh, I can probably speed it up as well. Yeah, 25. Yeah, generate faster. It should auto sell every 10 seconds. And you can increase the spawn rate, the lifetime, and the velocity of the stuff. The velocity requires a lot of money, I'm guessing. Yeah, everything requires a lot of money, honestly. This is just ridiculous. This is such a convoluted game i don't know what is, what is this going to achieve but yeah this is basically the game i don't really have much to say about it i don't even think there's an audio to basically generate particles and then you sell particles i'm guessing it's supposed to be a big spectacle when you get like a bunch of particles on the screen if that's probably why it was saying that you require like a stronger gpu for the game and there's no audio what what exactly is the purpose of this game like I played Idle Civilization, at least that one had like some, oh, there's a, you know, history and that sort of stuff involved. But this one is just like, same, similar, but it's just like, what am I trying to achieve here? 